Hey everyone, it's Corleone from Lightcast Studios, and today we're going to be making um, transparent images using Photoshop. And what we're going to do is simply click File, Open, and find the image we want to use if you haven't done so already. And as you can see, it has a lot of clear white space that we can remove easily using the Magic Eraser tool. And we're just going to remove the insides as well by right clicking the Eraser tool that's usually set by default and selecting the Magic Eraser tool. And then just click the area that you want to remove once and it should do the job the first time. If you zoom in 200% you will see that there are no white, uh, extra white lines around the image and it cut it uh, pretty well. And if you're satisfied with the job, um, simply click File, Save As, and make sure you save it as a PNG file as that's the only format that supports transparent layers. And I'm just going to save this as LA County Shirt, click Save. And transparent layers are helpful to use when you want to, you know, design t-shirts like what I'm using this logo for, as well as, um, you know, just uh, importing them into other compositions for After Effects and things like that. Now I'm going to show you one more method that's uh, not as easy and not as effective, but it works just the same. Uh, we're simply going to click File Open once more and browse for the image that we want to use. And just open it. As you can see, same image, but this time we're going to use the quick selection by clicking it right here. It's usually set by default with the little uh, dotted line around the paintbrush. And this time it has a plus sign, and just simply click the white space and follow the area around the image, and it should uh, trace the outline of the image, and you can easily delete uh, the rest of the, the background from there. And as you can see, it tracked the entire image without me even having to go around the entire thing. And you just need to click delete and it should remove the background pretty well. You can also do it with the inside of the image and click delete. And also do it with the bottom. And as you can see it did a pretty good job. And if we zoom in, um, when I said that it wasn't as effective, as effective as using the magic eraser tool, this is what I meant. It sometimes cuts out areas that you don't want it to cut out because maybe there are they are thinner than other areas of the image and it can be cut out. So you want to make sure that you look for those kind of things and uh, you know redo them if you have to. So once you're uh, satisfied with your image, click File, Save As, and again save it as a PNG file. As I said before, PNG files are the only things that support transparent layers, and click Save. And once you're satisfied with that, that's about it. Well, I hope you enjoyed this quick and easy tutorial. Hope you learned a lot. If you have any questions, don't forget to comment and subscribe. And until next time, this is Lightcast Studios, and thanks for watching.